makes fall Wonderful, magical It's that time When everybody smiles Eyes are shining bright I still remember how I used to feel Look at us now Walking around in the snow We do it Detective, it's urgent. There's a beer. I didn't brew it. There's a beer under my Christmas tree. It wasn't me. Okay, cool. I'll see you in a minute. Thanks. It is I, Hercule Cicero. The case Monsieur Chad presented me with was most peculiar. I felt the only way to solve it was to taste the contents of the mystery bottle. Sacre bleu. What do you think that is? I don't know. Well, there is a clue. The label, the artwork is César. So naturally, the liquid inside must be César. César is a rustic farmhouse ale originating in the fields of Wallonia or French-speaking Belgium. It is most commonly a pale, refreshing, highly attenuated, moderately bitter air with a dry finish. Though non-cereal grains add malt complexity and a rustic quality, most of the flavor and aroma comes from the yeast. Tasting it, lemon, pepper, little bit of spice. So let us start at the beginning. The mash. What kind of malt do you think the perpetrators used? I believe this is mostly Pilsner malt with rye. And I detect the characteristic mouthfeel and dryness of a step mash. A hawk cut smash, if you will. Not much in the way of hops. One could say, perhaps, the brewers just threw in whatever Ella hops they had laying around. The yeast. Effervescent, yet yeah, soft. Lemon, peppercorn, rustic flavor. That is the characteristic blousy strain, no? My preliminary investigation helped me understand the mind of the culprit. A lover of classic saisons, but perhaps with an excess of hops on hand. There are many suspects in the house to question, but first, 
I must search the house for clues. Quite the suspicious family. Dare I say, you're some fruit. We oui. fruit, but we at first must look past the fruit and get to the base beer. What kind of moth are you detecting? It's light, well-rounded. I think it might be Pilsner Mall. And what kind of mash do you think was made with this Pilsner? Could it be the Hawkers? Step mash. Not much to say in terms of hop flavor or aroma. If I were to hypothesize what kind of hops were used in this, I would say Ella. When it comes to the yeast, what do you detect? It's not overwhelming, but it does have some character. I suspect this may be the Belle Saison yeast. We have a very dry finish, but the illusion of body. Belle Saison is a high glycerol producer, so I hypothesize it was Belle Saison. Now, tell me about the fruit. I'm detecting significant hints of Pluot. You must remember, Pluots were very hard to find in Knoxville at the time when I believe this Saison was brewed. So I think whoever did this made their own. So you're saying the person or people that did this made their own Pluots? Oui. Three parts apricot, one part plum? Three parts plum, one part. Now that I think about it, this may be the same person or people who made both beers. And this one seems like this may be a tribute to that tart plum saison at Atlanta by Orpheus. Do you know who brewed the beer? No. What kind of beer would you brew? If you were to brew a beer. A beer with, uh, with nothing but jalapenos and poop in it. Sacre bleu. It would never be a saison. Seth, you didn't brew this, did you? <laughs> Was it you? Look! <gasps> a ghost in it. A ghost did it? Did a ghost do it?
these subjects seemed innocent, and so I turned my suspicions to the lady of the house. Tell me, ma'am. Did you brew the saison? Did I? Do you know who brewed the saison? Whoever brewed this, they were a genius. Very well. Do you know why I like plants better than people? Why? They never tell your secrets. I see. Future murderess notwithstanding, I concluded my investigation and retired to my flat for one last experiment. A water analysis of the beer yielded the following results. And now, it was time to put the little gray cells to use. I had all the clues before me. The action figure. The empty beer can. The compact disc. But what does they mean? How would they help me find the elusive brewer? They all reminded me of someone. But who? And then I remembered I had been enjoying a YouTube channel known as Two and a Half Pints Homebrew. You really should like and subscribe. Yes, it was from this channel. It is triggering the memories. The Jar Jar Binks. The Quadruple IPA. We got your double IPAs. We got your triple IPAs. We got your... What comes after three? Fortal IPAs. Fortal IPAs. Man, we need a brew with Fortal IPA. In 40s. The terrible taste and music and general douchebaggery. It could be none other than Le Coup Guys. But then the question remains. How did the Coup Guys get access to this poor family's house? It truly is a mystery. Locked deep within the subconscious. I must ponder it further. We love saisons, and we're good at brewing. Yeah, and <laughs> we're not nerds. Yeah, <laughs> we don't even read. Who needs to read? You just put a little bit of this in there, a little bit of that in there, put a little fruit in there. You know, what's that? Salt Bay. That. Mr. Bojangles knows who brewed the beer, doesn't he? Does he? Does Mr. Bojangles know who brewed the beer? Does he know? Does he know? He does. He looks so innocent. He said, I'm a good boy. Silent night is here to stay. I just want to be consumed and appreciated. But I'm getting orange, cinnamon, toffee, figs. What about you, man? Dark fruit. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. A little bit of that ginger. Mm.
So taste. you've never tasted beer before. <laughs> I have tasted the the saison. <laughs> Are you tell the truth to everyone, Owen? Have you ever had beer? In real life, no. <laughs> okay, for this video, 